What's the deal, man? It's Wayne McClain. Wayne McClain's even back here with another video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Support the boy, man. Support the channel. Let's get this channel up, man. Um, bad news today, man. We lost another black male, man. Fulio. He's an, I think he's an agent. I don't trust none of these rap dudes. I think they're all Asian. But he could be real. All right? Let's 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 not even do the conspiracy talk. Because I think everybody in Asia. I think you're one too. Not me. Pointing at you, person watching this video. I know who you is. Yeah, I know who you is. Anyways, Fulio, people want to say it's, it's uh, the gave his life upon a certain day type of thing. The sacrilegious type of thing. Y'all know what I mean by sacrilegious, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do this kind of content. It's a sacrilegious type of thing. So people believe that he was giving up all that. That's fine. I'm pretty sure he, he it, 400 days ago, he passed on the 400th day of this day. And when you add this for up, it, I'm pretty sure all that goes down. It's about the real message, though. The real reason why they show so many rappers pass is to get the black male used to passing. And a lot of black males, we are in a situation where... We playing this crazy game called the streets. A lot of us are doing it. I'm, I'm playing in 9 to 5. I'm working to try to just be alive. Anyway, Fulio, on the other hand, it was a lot of other black boys. I, now, do I believe he's really going to something? He probably was. He got shot in his foot. That was real. He, he, and I really hope young kids are not this slow. You know what I'm saying? People got mad at Kendrick for having sheriffs and everybody else at his show when this young boy here, something happened to him. But he know the stuff he was doing, man, talking about people's families. And that's what I want to get in. We're in this dangerous game of the streets of where I had a homie explain this to me. He told me what it's like. Why in the streets is the way it is. He said, Dwayne, in life, he said, in your lifestyle, the worst thing that happens to you is somebody might forget your ketchup in the bag. He said, you know what I'm saying? He said, Dwayne, the life you're living, the worst thing that might happen to you is, is somebody might cut you off in traffic. The lifestyle he's living with gang culture, he said, if somebody kills your friend, you have to do something. He said, there's no me seeing this guy at the gas station and he done killed somebody's friend. Oh, I said the K word. He done KO'd, KO'd somebody's friend or unlawed somebody's friend or he took out somebody's mom or something like that. Imagine somebody, he said, he said, think about this. He said, Dwayne, what's the most money you lost at one time? I said, man, probably like, I got finessed out a couple hundred bucks. He said, a couple hundred. He said, I would have did something about couple. He said, I said, I couldn't get to him. They were the Africans. Yeah, y'all, I, I kind of got... We'll talk about another day how I got finished by some Africans. We'll talk about another day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all got finished by the African, man. <laughs> and the Arab, dude. Anyways, he said, Dwayne, what if it was $20,000? He said, and you seen them physically take your money from you. Like, say somebody got robbed. You got robbed, somebody took your money from you. That's a different thing. So, so he said, I robbed. So... If somebody robs you for twenty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you have to do something. That's what he's saying. He said that's the lifestyle. He said, that, and he said that's once you're in the world of drugs, guns, and stuff like that, there's going to be repercussions, and there's going to be things you have to do. He says there's going to be things you, you you're going to have to say, and there's going to be things you must take care of, man. Because in these situations, you just can't let them slide. And a lot of our young black boys are caught in this constant cycle of being born into it. His daddy did this. Like I said, it's easy that the part now where we just need to let them boys wipe each other out. There is no peace treaty. You can't do peace. There can't be no peace if somebody did something and lost a kid. You know what I'm saying? The show Snowfall showed it when, um, what was my boy name? Not Skinny. Not Man not man Boy. Not Crunchy. What was his name? Scully. When Scully lost his daughter, Scully went and found peace. Look how they looked at Scully. You know, Scully was still that guy. Look how they looked at him because of that. It does a lot. And we in this constant evil game. I really do feel like there's a curse on the black males. I do feel like we're up under a constant curse. People want to blame single mother homes. Y'all can blame whatever, man. I don't want to put... I blame them sorry fathers. Y'all can blame single mother. Blame the sorry fathers who made it like that. I know some dudes, well, Dwayne, the moms made it uncomfortable. Dads have every right to fight for their kids. This is one thing nobody talks about in the hood. Dads can go to court, get joint custody. Oh, dude, they was giving it to the moms. Y'all guys didn't lawyer up. I know plenty of guys who have custody over their kids. Y'all guys need to lawyer up, especially in 2024. There's no excuse now. Guys back in the day who didn't raise those kids were sorry men. Sorry men. 
they was uh, more unfit parents than the mothers. If the mothers have to rely on Section 8 and all that, what is that to say? And I know some people want to say, oh, Dwayne, we didn't have all, yeah, I want to have all these excuses. The, the source of it is you can blame mothers, you can blame fathers, you can blame something. I know we're here now 30 years and it's still going on. And you got rappers probably faking it. I, who, who gave this boy fully a spotlight? And then look how many young black boys losing their life. We lost it to 2,000 this year. That's too many black boys. How many white boys got lost to gang violence? Probably a good 50, 60. KKK members ain't shooting each other. Uh, uh, there might be some bike, biker gangs that got disliked toward each other. Uh, now, the cartel Spanish boys, y'all got it bad too. It's always brown people, but we the most heavily involved with drugs, but I feel like we're the ones losing it the most over nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really, a lot of nonsense. We, we pull out up and guns on anybody. That's why, look at, look at the, the I'm going to do a, another independent blog on why the rapper controls the black community look how many young boys act and dress like the rappers today like they act just like them they do everything just like them look how many look, reason why so many boys lose they like because everybody walk i can't do the walk i wish i could get out they all skinny rocking his big jackets rocking around with the blicky harming people and these boys are upping it for no reason an argument they grabbing a, a pole they grabbing a whatever look at all these terms in the past year there have been so many terms for a strap in years, you can't say strap no more. Can you still say strap? I don't know. Anyways, you got the pole, the blick. I don't know why y'all's calling it the D-I-C-K. Y'all are gross. These new generation kids is weird. So this Fulio situation is a it is secretly embeds in the black boy's brain that this is what we're supposed to do. And then it's glorified. Look how many girls that boy had. How many beautiful chicks. Girls are not... I mean, you know how many drug dealers I know who get really attractive girls? And it, 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 as a person who sees that life, You'll be like, dang, I want to be a part of it. There's a lot of guys right now who's a part of this life who's not supposed to be part of it. They're, they're, they're square losers like me. You know what I'm saying? Just just green guys, Final Fantasy playing, Dragon Ball Z watching, you know, anime watching guys, you know, just Comic-Con dweebs. No reason to be in the streets. Not saying because you're in that stuff, you can't be in the streets. But most street guys are in the streets. Girls don't care about being shot up around these dudes. They don't. You know how many girls I meet? Oh, my baby daddy house got shot up and she's over there. Oh, they shot my baby daddy car up. Why y'all want to be in such toxic... The, 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 the narcotics itself brings so much negativity in our lives. When we're around it, it causes... And, and so many women are comfortable with they men selling all types of narcotics. Now, if your man can handle it, you can handle it. But in, in the country, it's a little different out here in the country. It's a lot safer. I got here in the country, I know guys who trapped for 20 years. Safe. There's no beef out here. Nobody's robbing. Nobody's doing all this. Guys be friends. Now, we get twisted. Stuff happens. I'm just saying, I have friends who, who well, I don't have any friends. I know somebody who said they knew somebody that knew somebody that does his lifestyle. They have an old lady, and they're perfectly safe with this stuff. FBI raiding your house. You comfortable with They be perfectly fine with this stuff. What I'm getting at is, we, these rappers will show this image. Is risk. It's also shown the street. More and more guys will get caught in the crossfire who's not supposed to be part of this. You know what I'm saying? They're not supposed to have none of this stuff going on. And um, this Fulio guy, his character was wrong. All this speaking on the dead talk, y'all, leave the dead where they at. You know what I'm saying? Let's leave them where they at. That don't talk about it. It's just a disrespect. It's an unclassful, distasteful thing. And that boy was crazy, man. And let me tell you something, man. Y'all be out here in the streets. Y'all think I'll do anything on the internet. It's going to be, there's going to be effect, a cause, a cause and effect. There's going to be repercussions for your actions. So if you're out here just acting crazy, willy-nilly, just harming people, that is a problem. Y'all can't be out here doing that, that stuff to people, man. Y'all can't be out here saying, oh, I did this all in smoke. No, y'all can't do that stuff, man. These, this, this, and there's so many other young boys who gravitate and understand this stuff. Rap music has a grasp on the black mind. It's crazy. How they in, go to the club, look at everybody. Yeah, every five years, as y'all get older, y'all notice this. The black people are going to copy the trends of the celebrities. It's not like that white folk. It's like a few things white people copy. But you know, every thing, all white people look alike. Y'all all dressed like, y'all ain't got no swag. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because y'all don't have nobody giving y'all swag. But because Justin Timberlake dressed just like every white dude at the you know, every white girl looks just like Taylor's dressing, dress. I like, but y'all have any, do white people have any styles to switch from? I mean, they're white people. Like, anyways, what I'm getting at is black people, we change over the years. Like, the Fulio dreads, the wicks, 
you know how many guys are here copying that Florida stuff? You know what I mean? And don't get it twisted, man. Street stuff going like this all the time. My honest answer on this Fulio thing, since he was in the industry, I do believe he had some ties. I haven't looked into him. I ain't did no breakdown on him. I believe he was kin to somebody. He knew somebody. And all these rappers, I don't trust none of them. I think they all, reason why I think all rappers are agents, because we are looking at the video on Kodak Black. We have to do a separate blog on Kodak Black as well. So rappers control the black community. Kodak Black, Kodak Black blog coming up. So the reason why I think these dudes is actors. Yeah, I'm from I'm from the, the, a, a low income neighborhood just like the rest of y'all. We are not about to be going to trying out for no Nickelodeon. Kodak Black is trying out for Nickelodeon at a young age. Y'all can go look it up. Offset tried out for. Uh, he he was a background dancer for Whitney Houston. Offset. All this stuff going on. I'm sitting here like. If these guys from the hood, they, they so street like they say they is, how are they able to do all this Hollywood stuff? That's let me know. And, and agents are usually raised in the industry. Most plants, most agents are raised in the industry. They're kin to somebody. They know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. So that's why I think this whole, like I said, Fulio, my honest answer, I do think he has some ties, but he also got to the involved some street stuff. They got undercover agents in your neighborhood. You are friends with an undercover agent and you don't know it. Right now. You probably do. Y'all, it's easy to find to see an undercover agent in the, in the hood. They get out of jail all the time. Their family is usually normally tied to some po political stuff. They like kin to an uncle who like a senator or something. Or they got like a, a lot of rich relatives. But they out here in the hood with you. Uh, seem like things just be gifted to them. You be like, dang, how, how is he getting all this, all that? And then family kin to everybody probably kin to some people with some sororities fraternities and then you know like i said then you don't know where their background came from because who who knows if we were raised in that area like i said i'm shooting off the hips i don't know all i know is i heard nipsey was planted in his neighborhood i heard that everybody from that area says nipsey hustle just popped up nipsey hustle plant another black man who left who shows us black men are supposed to be taken out of this earth Every black man has it in him to say, oh, I'm going to go to jail one day. Every white boy doesn't think like that. As a black man, I'm like, oh, man. Like, I don't... And it's normal for us to all have jail stories. Not every black man, and I'm glad the brainwashing is going on, but it's happening. They're trying to keep the street male, male mentality alive for a long time. Think about it. It's been happening since the 90s. So 30 years, 30 years, 1990 to 2024, 34 years. It is still going on, and another generation is is the gangsters just transformed, and more and more kids. The young boy era in 2019 had all you dudes not eating, wearing tank tops and skinny with big shoes and tight pants. Y'all were looking crazy. Y'all were looking crazy in 27, 2017, 2018. All y'all boys were copying young boy on drugs. Why you want y'all eating in this era? Y'all were all skinny with. And y'all still all skinny. Y'all all skinny with, look at Fulio. Fulio was a skinny dude. What was he eating? All y'all skinny. No big dreads. No nothing. No, just, just looking insane. I remember the Chief Keefe. Everybody had little dirty dreads. All people do is going to keep copying these guys. And keep copying these rappers. These rappers are going to keep influencing these young kids to get in trouble. Get in trouble. And this is going to have an effect on black males, man. That's, that's what was affecting it ain't affecting nobody else. And this and, and it's is it's it's gonna always be in our heads so the black man can feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. We losing a lot of lives out here, man. We supposed to be out here multiplying. And they know the the black man, darker skinned people are usually the only ones. Well, I can't say that because there's some white men in Utah with 50 kids. Men have a power to make as much kids. We're supposed to prosper and multiply out here. We're supposed to have a bunch of kids, man. As a man, supposed to have like five, six kids, bro. You need to put multiple and kids and giving them not black men mess up because we make all these kids in these broken homes. Supposed to have kids pass down qualities, legacy, regulation, and rules, and all that stuff is supposed to be passed down to your offspring. You're supposed to leave uh, uh, what's it called? What's that word I'm looking for? Where you get inheritance? We we'll leave inheritance for your kids. So. They don't want that, man. These young black boys is dying. Like I said, a lot of our black males are useless. 
A lot of, uh, you know how many homeboys we got in the hood right now who are just useless? Like, guys who trap and that's loud. You got guys that's trapped and they quiet, they pay their bills, they don't bother nobody. Guys that's trapped that's loud, they bringing attention, they robbing, they just doing extra stuff. And then, they're not even investing their money, they have no plan on not trapping no more. Then you got guys out here who just don't even trap, they don't work, they just, there's a lot of worthless black males. I say if there's 10 black guys, you know I use 10, 20 black guys, 13 of them are, are, are useless, 7 of them are at least good. Nah, that might be worse. All I know is a lot of them are, and if you're a black man watching this, I'm not coming at you. If you got your stuff together, you working, you stand out of trouble, you got goals, you're actually an asset to society, your people love you, your people respect you, you're dependable. A lot of black men come in, my job, on their mama plan, on their daddy plan, living with their baby mama, no car, no job, girl taking care of them. I don't see this with any other male. I don't see this with white men. I don't see this with Mexicans. I don't see this with Asians. I see black men sitting around, 30, kid, and, and, and their girlfriend taking care of them. No job, no car, and they comfortable. A lot of black men are like that. That's what I'm saying, man. And then I see them out here robbing, stealing, getting and doing crimes, going to jail. If you're going to jail, you're used to society. This is a society, y'all. This is, we, we built this society. The society's getting bad because black people, bl the, the black men ain't doing nothing. Black men are the leaders of the society. If we all made businesses, raised our kids, stayed with our girlfriends, tell that, y'all don't want to blame the woman. The woman ran us away. That white woman can't run y'all away, man. Y'all just want to leave. You want to leave, man. You have y'all stuff together. You have y'all stuff together, man. You know what I'm saying? The black And then all our good black guys are with white girls. All our good black ones are white girls, so our race lightening up. But anyways, man, I'm gonna get off my little racist rant. Now y'all know, y'all know me, man. I'll be racist sometimes. Sometimes I'm racist, but I'm not really a racist. I know I love everybody. But anyways, that's all I gotta talk about, it, man. Black people, uh, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Get some, get some jobs, whatever. We got a blog coming up. How rappers control the black community. Also, the Code at Black uh, blog. Uh, I'm still working on the breakdowns, y'all. We're gonna have one out probably this week. It's gonna be on Patreon first. All right, I'm going to try to do, if somebody said 50 cents ain't a good one, somebody said Nelly, give me some options on what to do on the breakdowns. We will get to them. God bless y'all. Be safe. I'm out.